Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Live High Lie in the Magic City on the High Lie Channel. I'm Stu Nyman. As always, I'm joined by Andrew Blackman, and together we will cover every point played today. All Mutuals Wagering is now open on today's eight-game performance. Each of today's eight games will offer win, play, show, Kinella Exacta, and Trifecta Wagering. Specialty bets. The Mighty Ocho and Daily Double both begin in game one. To play the Mighty Ocho, correctly pick the winners of each of today's eight games and have the only ticket that does so. There's a $5,000 guarantee. Our early daily double, which is our only daily double, begins in game one. Correctly pick the winners of games one and two to play that daily double. Two pick threes, an early pick three and a late pick three. The early pick three, games two, three, and four. The late pick three, games six, seven, and eight. Then the high paying high five jackpot. Been very popular lately and very successfully handicapped, I might point out. Went yesterday again. High five is a pick five wager. Correctly pick the winners of games three, four, five, six, and seven. If you do so, do so correctly and have the only ticket that does so, you'll cash in on the high five for today. Online wagering is available at watchandwager.com or if you're in the state of Connecticut, mywinners.com. Placing a bet, not necessary in order for you to enjoy today's action. We have a no. Scratches in today's performance. Today's performance is scratch-free. With all this in mind, we ask you to make your wagers as early as possible within scheduled post times and sit back and relax. Post time for game number one is now just less than eight minutes away. Andrew, how you doing, babe? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> how you doing, Stu? I just knew you weren't expecting. I, well, I was ready to pour some coffee and well, I almost, I, yeah, I almost spit it out. It and I was, oh, I almost dumped it on ooh, yourself. Ooh. I almost spilled e it on no, the program. It is kind there. of funny. Even in, even in my former relationship, that wasn't a thing. You're Th not a. There are no. I'm, there are those couples that I that I have been around that I have been subject to. It's either babe or bay, which, you know, it's like I don't like that. Yeah, it's it's sweet. Like if you're puttering around hey, the babe, kitchen man. on a Sunday, nah. you know. But it's like when it's like every reference, like every reference has to be that. I. I like Hun. Hun is good. You Hun's know, good. I Hun. just think it's funny. No, you know, I, I, you Hun know, is good. I like, I like it too. Hun, would you mind grabbing the? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah funny. Yeah. yeah, makes me laugh too. I'm trying to think. Shay likes I'm it. trying yeah. to think if I did. No, I, I just called him by his name. I mean, it was Jason. I called him Jay, but I mean. Yeah. You know. uh, nah, but that doesn't. That's like a. What other people call him that. Huh? Or other folks call them that? Yeah. Is, yeah, okay. yeah, I, yeah I, think, like, I think some family members yeah. did as well. I think I used it most primarily. And then with with more recent one, Isaac, I don't remember really anything because, you know, he's of that generation that basically drinks every 10 seconds. And I found myself drunk most of the time that we were together. Right. So well, I have no independent recollection whatsoever of what I referred to. I <laughs> In fact, that five years is a bit of a blur. <laughs> Officer, I don't know. Well, it's good fun, Stu. Absolutely. So we weren't expecting this, were you? No, I, I wasn't. That's what I try to keep it fresh. It was fresh, though. So. Hey, you. you're doing well? Uh, uh, kind of an eye. Uh, yeah. Kind of a... Uh, See, eclipse, eclipse Day, you know? Uh, yeah. The morning was... Uh, yeah. The morning was... Uh, I've had better mornings, but I've also had far worse mornings. It's going to get better. <laughs> we're going to have this... <laughs> what what is it? Whether the sun passes by the the moon passes by the sun. What is, what is the proper? I believe it's this a is a solar eclipse. So wow. So what, so what happens? Wow. Did you in the eclipse? Uh, just uh, to one, dumb it down for me. One thing that I'll never get close to gets in front of the other thing that I, that I'll never get close to. And right. Blocks yeah. it for about three minutes, and then everybody goes. Wow, or you could watch videos of it online, which is... I think we're going to choose the latter. Yeah, exactly. Well, I know we're, some we're, folks we're in a mental box with no windows. It makes no difference. This is like the worst place no, to enjoy could, an eclipse. No, seriously, a bomb could go off, and as long as it didn't destroy the building, we wouldn't know. That's right. The moon, moon blocks the sun. That's what that... Thank you, Mo. 
That's what I was getting at. Oh, the specific. Oh, you want the specific yeah, no, celestial I was like, organization? Right. Yeah, I don't do that. Yeah, we don't do. I, I don't do those things. Mo Crank does. He's got it right. Thank you, Mo. All right. Five wow. minutes to go to game one, and Ron's clamoring for this video, Not so we got to give it to him. Are you kidding? He flat out said, I've been here since 4 a.m. Play the damn video. Well, this video. I mean, that's a little strong yeah. for Ron. That's a little strong for Ron. Eclipsed people acting strange. I tell, I'm telling you. And one Only coffee, one coffee. That'll okay, do it. We'll, we'll see what we can do about getting you another one. Well, this will cheer him up, folks. This video will explain the scoring format for all eight games, which today, as every day, is Spectacular 7 scoring. Spectacular seven singles games are played with eight players. Each player wears a different color jersey numbered one through eight on the front. These numbers are traditionally referred to as post numbers. Post numbers are used to signify the order in which the athletes will play in a game. These numbers are also used for betting purposes. Don't be confused by the numbers on the back of our jerseys. Those are just for fun. Each game begins when the player in the post one red jersey serves to the player in the post two blue jersey. The served ball must land between the four and seven lines marked on the court's side wall. If the ball lands between those lines, the serve is good and play continues until one of those two players wins that matchup. The player who loses the matchup exits the court and waits for his next turn at the end of the rotation. It's important to note that every game has two rounds. The first seven matchups in a game make up round one. Each matchup in round one is worth one point. Round two refers to all matchups that take place after the seventh and final matchup of round one. The number of matchups in round two varies from game to game. And in round two, each matchup is worth two points. The first player to earn seven points wins the game. Three minutes until we begin game number one. I'll say hello to folks joining us in the chat. Steve, Sam, Mo, Michael, boom, boom, Jerry. Mo, you're in the uh, the path. Did you get those special glasses so you can actually look into the eclipse? So my biggest concern with the glasses is you ju you just kind of trust them but what if what if they don't work it it really doesn't it really doesn't do anything for you and then you could end up in the uh... so I just choose to not look straight into something that could potentially blind me what's going on Stu oh yeah that TV the post game show television it gets quite distracting when it's on because we could see it through our glass that's right. Yeah, you got to get that off. It's Thank a, you. It's yeah. a pain in the ass. And also, <laughs> there are a couple players here. I think that they were, you know, most players here who've been here for a while are kind of a, oblivious. So, that, like, the glass is a feature, not a bug. Okay. But by the same token, I would have a really difficult time myself personally with people staring at me through the front wall. So the back wall here, if there's some glare, like we do try to make sure that there's no glare and lights as the players are trying to turn a robote or look to the robote, that there's, you know, they're catching news on the little LG that we have <laughs> back here. Hey, the eclipse in, uh, exactly. <laughs> in Texas. Yeah. And my own greetings. Yeah. Boom, boom. Jerry, 6702, greetings. Mo Crank, as always, a pleasure. William. Steve M, first out of the shoot. Mr. Stutler, working on his Basque, as always. Thank you very much. My hope that uh, Jatna will make a reappearance. Again, I only ask, I, I really only asked twice. What goes on on Tiger's board is not reflective of what goes on here. If you want to hear from me, you can tune into the show, and I will. It's my own voice acting in real time, not me. A anger, oh, uh, ang uh, ang oh, anger, anger oh, posting. Oh, 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 there, there he is. is. No, he's not. Yeah, there you go. We'll work on the music. Wow. Good to have you, Jadna. Game one. We're gonna play some highlight today. Ha ha, Jadna. And and we're wor and we're working on the music. We're working on the music thing. I'm probably like inclined just to leave the music off the whole time since we can't hear it. It doesn't really affect me. Just like leave the music off, but. Uh, I don't know if the people who pay the bills are interested in that. Time to begin game one, a spectacular seven. Singles match, play to seven points. Points double after the first round of play. Juice serves, Flores receives. 
Backhand by Flores. Here's a backhand by Juice, powerfully thrown. Flores on the rebote, right up the middle. Ball tip, point two. Flores, first up on the board here in our first game on Monday. Receiving the white shirt of post three, Tennessee. Jatna, absolutely. There are, it's a very short list of people who I'm not good with. And realistically, anybody who I can talk to, even if there's heated words or something like that, Andrew will be the first to tell you that it's a real short list of people who are on the Schnitt list. It's, I, I'm, I'm kind of quick to, quick to respond aggressively and then de-escalate very quickly after that. Robote forehand by Flores. Tennessee gonna get it on the right side at the seven line. Picada cut off by Flores. Robote scores. Point three. Three will serve to the green shirt. Uh, post four. Here's a Kubala. Obviously, Jatnan, if you didn't care, you wouldn't bring it up. And actually, you write really well. Uh, your writing style is similar to mine. I tend to use lots and lots of words and be very, very descriptive when trying to make a point. Hasn't always worked out well for me, but uh, eh, sometimes. But definitely point taken. Backhand by Kubala. Tennessee's there. Kubala moving out to the five line to turn the rebote. Outside placement scores, point three. Black shirt, uh, post five. Here's Cool Fitness. Cool Fitness, watch out for that outside placement. But make sure you catch the serve. Here's a backhand by Cool Fitness. Big backhand to the inside. Rebote for Tennessee. Midcourt placement stopped by Cool Fitness. Point three. Three on the board with three points. Here's post six. Jedden. Robert, hey yo. Hi, welcome to the broadcast, hope you enjoy. Here's Jedden on the backhand from the 11 line. Tennessee's there. Rebote forehand, just missed, point three. Three on the board with four points, here's post seven, CRB. Two bounces ruled before the rebote was made, 0.7. Here now to complete the first round play. Purple at post eight, El Barba. Backhand by El Barba to the inside, it passes. Rebote forehand by CRB. Scoop by El Barba. And the two all. CRB reads it, stops it, blasts it back where it scores. Point seven. Seven on the board with two points. We have completed the first round of play. Matchups are worth two points now through the end of the game. First to return, red of post one. Juice. Backhand by Juice, a little bit of wonky bounce coming off the front wall. 
Nice rebote by CRB. Here's Juice. Powerful forehand by Juice, caught by CRB. Ball tip, 0.7. So with four points, here's post two. Polores. Robote left side. CRB makes the catch. Backhand by Flores. Catch by Flores. Backhand by CRB. Rebote left side. Big bounce. Stop by CRB. Great catch. Nice throw to pass. CRB on the catch. Winds up. Coasty inside will score on the second bounce. Point seven. CRB has gone straight points to a possible game point. Trying to stop him. The green up post for Kubala. There's a backhand by Kubala. Robote coming out. Kubala at the side wall. That's a nice grab at the nine line. Back to the inside. CRB is there. Beautiful stop by Kubala. Scores, point four. Black shirt post five, here's Cool Fitness. Ball tipped off the serve, point four. Yellow post six, Jedden returns. Ball dies coming out of the service box and scores point four. Possible game point for post four in the green shirt. Kubala trying to stop him, Tennessee. Here's the backhand by Tennessee. Robote coming out. One in game, post four, Kubala. Seven places and three shows. Unofficial order finish, four, seven, three for our first game. Winning game one, post four, Kubala taking second, post seven, CRB coming in third, post three, Tennessee. Prices will be up in a moment. Moments up. Two dollar Kinella four seven twenty dollars and sixty cents. Trifecta four seven three two thirteen sixty. Two dollar wager on four to win seven sixty. Up next, game two, a spectacular seven singles match. Play to seven points. Points double after the first round of play. Game two begins. The first of our two pick threes. Correctly pick the winners of games two, three, and four to play the pick three. There are no scratches. Post time. Seven minutes, good luck. And we have seven minutes until we begin game two. For any new High Life fans that may be joining us here for the first time, take a look at this video that explains in simpler terms how High Life is played. 
The main rule of Highlight is simple. Players must catch and return the ball in one fluid motion. Sounds easy enough, right? So how do you win? You can win a matchup simply if your opponent overserves, underserves, or serves the ball out of bounds. On the flip side, your opponent wins the matchup if the serve is so good that you fail to catch and return the ball to the front wall. If your opponent fails to catch the ball before it bounces twice on the ground, or if your opponent's Sesta makes contact with the ball but doesn't catch it, then, in both of those cases, you win the matchup. You can also win a matchup if the ball bounces around in your opponent's Sesta during an attempted catch. This is called juggling, and it's illegal in Highline. Another way to win a matchup is if your opponent throws the ball and it lands out of bounds on its return from the wall. The overall game strategy for a highlight player is to make it difficult for an opponent to reach the ball in time or to execute a rebuttal play. And we're back here six minutes from the start of game number two. You know what that means, you gotta listen to us ramble for six minutes or dead air. Andrew, what do you prefer? Now we got a lot to talk about. We do? Like what? No, I don't think we're not. Not much, but we'll. Let's say hello to some new folks that joined us during that game. We okay. saw Jatna, Richard, Robert, Matthew, Mr. Kinchman, William. You mentioned Mr. Eves? Mr. Eves. Hello to you, too. It is a big night for our Connecticut folks. It is? University of Connecticut. Okay. Going UConn, for UConn, I've heard. Going for their second consecutive national championship. Not only that, Stu, here's an interesting stat, sports betting wise. Okay. They have won and covered the point spread okay. in every game over the last two tournaments. Ah. It's and nice since to they're a good team, you have to win by a certain margin in order to cover it. Not only have they been winning, but they have been dominating. Well, as so. you know, I know nothing about sports betting, but it is interesting it, that they have bed spreads. I thought that people were moving away from bed spreads. I really did. I thought they were just going with comforters and, you know, you don't see many bed spreads. No. You, but, but the fact that bed spreads exist <laughs> is, I think I have a bed spread under the bed, which isn't where it's supposed to go on top of the bed and be matched with like some throw pillows and drapes. Sure, right. You know, the, uh, but it's good to know that uh, that bed spreads are still being the used. Spread, the spreads are covering the Matthew band. Eves has a question about Highline. What are, what are the pros and cons of playing wide versus sticking to the wall? So, Matthew Eves, in singles and actually in doubles, and less so in doubles but more so in singles, you don't want to telegraph to your opponent where to throw. Um, especially, like, in some of our later games. Some of the early games, you know, just we, we tell them to move to the ball. But if a player is, we've seen it a lot, especially on the replays in battle court, uh, when players either stay close to the sidewall or they are seen when their opponent is winding up, like on the costado, moving center court to the inside, Sure. Players who are capable of throwing good two walls or philos or who are good at landing those shots, it basically telegraphs where to throw the shot and vice versa. So if you play wide, like that's another thing that we saw in one of the battle court matches, I can't remember which one it was, was dropping it. In fact, I said Ramate Rincon, which is just kill shot to the inside, is that if you play to the outside and your backcourt lingers in the back, you basically got that whole wide area from the one to about, let's say, the six or seven that becomes wide open if the front quarter just covers the outside and doubles and the back quarter six to the back court here. True and traditional high line as it is here, you really need to cover the entire court and communicate really effectively with your opponent, uh, with your partner. Conversely, when you have control of the ball, you want to be looking for those openings. So playing inside, as a backcourter, you're usually safe doing that. Usually safe doing that. But in singles, you need to really, s what I want to do in singles, especially on this court, is, this is in my mind where I play, is I want to serve, I want to serve my opponent deep, and I want to step up to about the eight line, about the middle of the court. Get, either take the ball in the air, because he's thrown from the corner, doubtful he's gonna pass me, and if he does, most of the robotes come out here. And then that puts me in an offensive position to do something. That's really what I wanted. That's really what I want to right. do. Serve and move to about the middle of the court. 
I had an opportunity last night to watch some of the first year games, like year one, Did and seeing some of these guys that I are know, still competing in the early games, namely Ben. I know, I know your friend Benny is a, your roommate Benny is a big fan of some of those early days. It, it is amazing to see, I mean, how far, I mean, a guy like Ben in particular, I just remember watching a couple points with him. I mean, he was mostly right side, I mean, at that time, and then he's really developed the they left, controlling, were. yeah, it, it's so weird the, to just see the joke a, a was, different The, the, the joke was. in the very beginning was, JR and I, remember, we were the two training, and then I went out yeah. for shoulder surgery, and Tevin came in. Yeah. So it was JR and I did the original training, and I'm an amateur right-sided player, and he is, JR is known for his right side. <laughs> right. And so you have guys going to the side wall, grabbing with the right side, largely because of how they were trained. Right. Neither one of us is, was a was a reverse or backhanded player. And the funny one for me is when JR and I were trying to come up with a strategy of training, probably the second week. Yeah. And I just looked at JR and said, "Who's going to teach him how to? Th who's going to teach him to throw Costello?" <laughs> And he looked at me and says, I know how to throw it. <laughs> <laughs> so I got it. <laughs> it's like, well, I don't. It's at least one of us. Did you enjoy? Yeah, it, I mean, I did. I mean, if you had, I mean, if you had a back and forth twice, I mean, the guy made two catches, each player made, that was a, that was a lengthy rally. What did you think of the announcing? You really you had good fluff. I mean, it was like, yeah. <laughs> yep. I mean, I'm sitting here shaking my head, and folks can't see that. It's like I sold it because for what I was announcing on the court, it was one. Yeah, it was excellent. When they made the catch and made the robote, it was a great job. Like Kubal hooked the Schnitt out of one, and as outside placement of the Costado robote lands in, I said, this guy could sell me anything. That's good stuff. Tennessee hey. serves. We begin. He gets the first point. Cool fitness with fine catch. Here's backhand from the 10 line. Tennessee's there. Juggling. Yeah, 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 yes, you did. Uh, won a point. We have to get to seven. Scoop attempt miss, Robote not there, point four. Black uh, post five, Ben receives. There's a backhand by Ben. Robote forehand missed, point five. Yellow shirt, uh, post six, Flores receives. Backhand by Flores, bends there. There's a backhand by Ben. Robote left side. There's a backhand by Flores. Ben, fine catch there on the forehand. Right side from the nine line, tipped by Flores, .5. Pink uh, post seven, CRB receives. JML, Juanito, I hope you are well. Good to see you in the chat. And Andrew, you're right. It, announcing those first games in year one, the enthusiasm that you did here, I mean, it wasn't just, it wasn't BS. It was, 
it was a mindset of channeling my excitement. Point seven. Here now, to complete the first round and receive, purple post eight, Jedden. Basically, having worked with them since the beginning, I, I knew what each of their limitations were and where some of their problems were. So when they got the serve in, when they made the catch, when they made a robote or something like that, I would just transfer the enthusiasm that I would have for a kid and a yeah. son. Right. You know, that's really what it was. Ball not coming out, point seven. Receiving post two, juice. Point seven. Seven with four points. Here is post one, Tennessee. It's an excellent catch. Long cortada stopped. Robote forehand. Tennessee, oh, pulled away. Got the catch, point seven. Possible game point four. The pink of post seven, CRB. Trying to stop him, cool fitness. Here's a backhand by Cool Fitness. Scoop by CRB. Point in game, post seven, CRB. Seven wins at five places, four, one, and three, playing off for third place. Four first serves to one. Point four. Possible show point for post four El Barba. Trying to stop him is cool fitness. Will the victory hands go up? Or will he have to play another point? Stay tuned. Cool fitness on the backhand. El Barba catches it in the air. Cool fitness, that's a great catch at the 12 line. Forehand, low to the inside. Now Barbara's there. Scoop, attempt missed. Point. And a third place finish for El Barba. 7 5 4, unofficial order finish for game two. Prices are official. Early daily double consolation for all 580. Till our wager on seven to win, 1540.
Tiro Aquinola, 5'7", 4180. Trifecta, 7'5", 20. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, is game three. A spectacular. Seven. Singles match, play to seven points. Points will double after the first round of play. No scratches in our third game, and post time is now just about seven minutes away. Remember, game three begins the high five for today. The high five is a pick five wager. Correctly pick the winners of games three, four, five, six, and seven. If you do so, do so correctly and have the only ticket that does so, you'll cash in on the high five today with its $2,000 guarantee post time. For game three and the high five, both seven minutes away, a good luck. Let's have a chat with those of you here in the chat. Get it? Chat with the chat. So right now you're speaking with directly you. with the announcer's booth. You got a question, you have an opinion, be careful. No, just kidding. All sincere opinions are welcome. All questions will be answered as honestly as possible. And if I have to hedge on an answer, I'll acknowledge that I'm hedging. We covered the pros and cons of playing wide versus sticking to the wall. Matthew, I hope you found that answer satisfactory. I, for one, I had a very, I had a very funny backcourt. Sorry, obviously, if you play amateur, you, you play with, with lots of different people. But consistently playing with one person regularly, my favorite person to play with was Eddie Fernandez. Many of you who know Miami High Lie will remember Eddie from his 90s career into the 2000s at uh, Miami High Lie. He's one of the top backcourters there. And Eddie was very much a, a natural, very much a natural High Lie player. Sure. Asked him big and, and occasionally lazy. And he would acknowledge that as well. Now, not, not at Miami High Lie, but definitely an amateur. Like I said, he had such a good backcourt robota like such a good backcourt robota like digging him out of the chula at north miami and in the chick chack i mean just such a good backcourt robota and i said how'd you develop that you know, not being able to throw a robota i was curious he said i'm too lazy to move back <laughs> or, well there you go <laughs> yeah, no, too, I'm too, <laughs> <laughs> too lazy to catch it in the air it's like okay all right that's reasonable would he fall down on those too like, oh yeah. Uh, yeah so oh yeah Eddie, Eddie had a very, especially on his backhand. What Eddie did that was that used to freak people out. And he did this in Marquina. He did this in Marquina, and he didn't play over there frequently. So Eddie had, Eddie has big hands, and I think you've heard this story. But Eddie would do this thing where he would be practicing, like we're seeing the practice right here, and he'd be lining up to catch reverse, lining up to catch reverse, pull his cest away, and catch the ball with his left hand. At Miami Highlight, at any Highlight front time. And sometimes he would do it just to mess with guys. Like, I can think of two guys in particular who remain nameless. To catch the ball? Yeah, with his with his, with his his bare hand. Yeah. He had, wow. but that that's why he was such a good catcher with the Sesta. He had the concept of how to make that catch without breaking bones in your hand with the give. Like, you give with the wrist, give with the wrist. He had perfect, I mean, he had that's perfect. That's crazy. He had perfect yeah, ball that, control. That's unbelievable. On both sides, and his backhand was really good. And, uh... What's its name? So there was a player again who should remain nameless, and he was playing his first week at Miami High Lie, and he was trying to impress everyone at Miami High Lie, or just trying to, you know, make a name for himself, or you know, by throwing the ball a thousand miles an hour every time he got the ball. I mean, the guy was really blasting the ball. Yeah. He's known for that. Um, also known for being a little kooky. So Fernandez walks out on the court towards the end of his career, and the guy blasts one from the left side, and then he caught it and returned it from the Sesta. I blasted another one, but he like looked at Eddie, like challenging. Eddie caught it and returned it, and he threw a third one. Again, this is at Miami Highlight. Eddie did that thing, he lined up to catch it with the Sesta, and boom, out came the left hand, out came the left hand, caught it, and he rolled it back to him, and he says, harder. That's crazy, insane. Little silly things like uh, that were, could be funny. That's good stuff. Man, I'm just thinking, I wouldn't get anywhere near this ball this ball without a sesta i could catch the oh. 
not only don't people have, I, I'm gonna tell you something, not only do, do folks in the chat not have questions, but like 20 people tuned out when I made the offer. Oh, wow. I guess they just wanna see the videos and hear me talk about highlight, which is okay. Andrew, what is this? What is this here? I don't want to butcher your last name. Ansh. RCB, RCB, RC. Does that mean anything to you? CRB, maybe? CRB? Oh, okay, that's fair. Stu, are the players given a stipend for their cestas or are they responsible for the cost? Excellent question. That's one we that's can answer. That's a great question. Absolutely. So, all the players from 2018 who did not know what a cesta was, prior to 2018, their cestas are provided for them for uh, as part of their contract. And I want to say for free because obviously the company has a cost, it's a significant cost. Um, and then the players who have joined afterwards who came with the cesta maker were told very clearly that they needed to maintain their relationship with the cesta makers because Manuel can't both play high lie and make cestas for a roster right. of 35 <laughs> people. It just can't, just can't work. So uh, we actually provide the cestas to players who uh, played 2018 and 2019, who started then. Um, however, players who came from Daniel Calder, et cetera, uh, who have relationships with cesta makers, we reimburse them for their cestas. Thanks for the question, Richard. Time to begin. Game number three, spectacular seven scoring. Kata serves when it receives. Kata serves, we begin. Excellent catch by Bueno. Light touch, Kata's on it. Kata powerfully from the forehand, what a scoop by Bueno. Robote forehand, Bueno on the catch. To all, does not open. Kata stops it on the right side. Low and hard. What a catch by Bueno. Perfect court positioning. Robote forehand. Bueno makes the catch seven line. Throws the carom. It opens. Stopped by Ikeda. Ikeda, hard throw and a roll. And it scores. Quite a point to start off the third game. Point one. Receiving the white shirt of post three. Here's Anderluck. Point one. Green shirt to post four, Robin receive. the backhand. Like point one. Black shirt, uh, post five. Here's Kubala.
Backhand by Kubala. Beautiful catch by Kubala to nine line. Robote forehand by Ikeda. Catch by Kubala. Ikeda makes the catch at the seven line. Low and hard. Scoop by Kubala. Point five. Yellow shirt, uh, post six, Bradley receive. Robote left side to the overhead screen, point six. Panka post seven, Julian receive. Here's the catch by Julen, catch by Bragley. Ball tip, point six. Purple shirt, uh, post eight, Carbio received. Backhand by Carbio. Robote left side. Oh, oh, oh. You guys got to play to get a later. <laughs> One eight. We've completed the first round of play. Matchups are worth two points now through the end of the game. <laughs> when are we seeing? Catch by Bueno. Well tipped, point two. Receiving a white shirt at post three, Andrew Luck. Point three. Here's the backhand by Robin. Robote coming low. Forehand saved by Anderluck. Robin has it. Powerful Costado. What a catch by Anderluck. Powerful throw by Anderluck. Robin's there. Pika. Stopped by Anderluck at six line. Fakes to the outside. Throws to the inside where it scores. Point three. Three with four points. Here's post one. Ikeda.
Play one. Possible game point. Red uh, post 1EK to try to stop him, Kubala. There's the backhand by Kubala. Backhand by Kubal. Rotate forehand by Ikeda. Point five. Excellent serve. That's a fine catch and return by Julen. Highlight. Good afternoon. Welcome to the chat. Rabote left side by Kubala. Julen makes the catch. The eight lot. Rabote forehand. Kubala's there. Julen Rabote forehand. Kubala on the catch. Picava. Rabote save. Here's a catch by Julian. Point seven. Yellow shirt, uh, post six receiving, Bragley. Powerful forehand. What a scoop by Bragley. Powerful backhand. Catch by Julen. What a scoop by Bragley. Karam will score. Well played. Point seven. Julian has four points. Here's post eight, Carbio. One eight. Blue of post two, bueno received. Hard to the inside will score for Bueno. Point two. Two with four points here is post four. Robin.
Iribote was thrown before the second bounce. Well done. Here's Robin. Backhand by Robin. What a catch by Bueno. Tremendous save by Robin. One-handed Robote save. This one coming in lower and scoring. Well played, point two. Possible game point four. The blue opposed to Bueno trying to stop him. Anderluck, he has four points. Bote forehand to the inside. Here's Bueno. Scoop, tip, point two. One game, post two, Bueno. Two wins at one place is seven serves to three. This is a playoff for third place. Big right side by Anderluck passes. Julian all the way up at the five line, hard to the inside, will score. Seven shows. Unofficial order finish, 217. Your price will be up in a moment. Winning game three, post two, Bueno taking second, post one, Ikeda coming in third, post seven, Julen, 2-1-7. The official order finished for game three. There are your prices. Kinello, 1-2, 25-40, Trifecta, 2-1-7, 3-53-60. wager on two to win, $22.80. I'll tell you, Andrew, I could use an extra $22.80. I could buy you and myself a sandwich for lunch. But I was just going to say that was about our bill yesterday. So we're For two sandwiches ah, and a, a couple coladas. See, I was, I, I, as we are prohibited from betting, but also I don't bet, so. Um, yeah, yeah, great prices there for game three. Point. Game four up next, ladies and gentlemen. That will conclude the pick three for today. There are no scratches in game four. Post time, seven minutes. Good luck. Mr. Diskin, can you go watch live in Miami today and tonight? How late does this go on? So, Mr. Diskin, we are closed to the public on Monday and Tuesday when we play. Uh, we are open Friday nights at 7 p.m. It's usually a big event. That's our battle court format. If you're familiar with Ilai, it's, it's partidos. It's uh, two, or, two on two or one on one uh, where players represent a team. Uh, we are also open on Sundays, 1.30 p.m. post time for these games. We're open Sundays and Fridays. If people are traveling into the town and are pretty regular fans, uh, we can make accommodations because we do 
we, we have had people basically, you know, our fans for a long time say, hey, I'm only going to be there on Monday and Tuesday. It's like, yeah, we can let you in for that. But we are really only open to the public on Sundays at 1.30. And it goes from 1.30 to about 4. And then on uh, Fridays, uh, doors open at 6.30 p.m. And that's really more of a big event. And we're here till about 10. Uh, we were going to go to a video, but there's a question. I don't know how to answer that. Well, we've got a question. Let's talk. Andrew. Yeah, Steve. I was. Can you tell us about battle court contest involving influencers? You're welcome, Mr. Disco. This is going to be a horrible answer, but I, I really don't know if I have. Uh, I, yeah. I, I don't know if I have the information for that, Steve. I haven't been. Uh, they haven't communicated that to me. Are you talking about the contest that we mentioned on Friday night? Because you met, you did a little read for a new contest for the folks that aren't live that could participate with our free betting contest. Let me get my reading glasses. But there is something that because Steve they did tell us that we could talk about we could, we could, in right. photo, but not okay. So on Fridays, yes. WJAL is officially introducing a Battle Court High Life Free Bets contest. Now again, this is Friday nights for our remote fans. Now I know we were doing this in-house. So on Friday, if you're watching from home and want to up the ante, all you need to do is scan the QR code code on the screen. Now that's on Friday when it shows up and you hear me saying this. Or go to bet battlecourt.com to play along. The game will go live every Friday game day in the month of April. Winners will earn merchandise gift cards and cash prizes every week, plus the overall contest winner will get a free trip down here to Miami. Why you'd want to come to Miami, I have... No, just kidding. Uh, you'll get a free trip to Miami to experience Championship 5 in person. That I get. That's, yeah, that, that, that's fun. Uh, we should put in parentheses here, that does not include a meet and greet with Andrew and I because I am antisocial. As a VIP guest, you must be 18 or older to play and win. Terms and conditions apply. That's what you're talking about? That's a, see, that's a new contest that we just broke out this past Friday night. There is something on the, the website that Steve's talking about, about there is some sort of influencer contest because there's nothing in here that mentions like influencers, but I will, uh, let me ask about that, Steve, and see if I can get more information because it says high lie handicapping tournament, $9,000 prize pool and weekly giveaways. And I think that's what he's talking about. But you see here. So I, you know, influence. So long story short, when it comes to influencers, um, I support anything, of course, that that the company is doing, that uh, the World Highlight League is doing with influencers. I uh, I dated someone who was working on a master's degree and was working specifically for a company uh, that matched influencers with 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 businesses, and that was my headfirst plunge into the business of influencer marketing. And this comes from, well, a, what was a medical background that turned into an advertising and general management background. Um, so the whole world of influencer marketing to me, still, even though I had three years of, you know, a couple times a week hearing about the, uh, the other side of it, I mean, to me, it's just kind of this amazing thing that I know absolutely nothing about. Hi, I'm Stu. I have X amount of followers on this platform. And if I hold up these reading glasses, now I see this is something that I would do. And someone told me that I was actually influencing if I made myself public. Like for instance, these cheap readers, right? Sure. Okay, this is a particular style of reading glass that I like. They cost about, I think, $14. And I have a habit of like leaving them around so I buy them in bulk. Yeah. But yeah, would I go on and to whatever platform and say, hey, if you like this particular style, which is an old fogey style, they're called half rim glasses. Okay. I this I like this. Or I think another example is the Berry Fit Water. 
it's like in that case, no one's, I mean, there's no extra money in my pay to talk about this berry oh, fish that not. they have back here. But the stuff is delicious. It is good. The stuff it's is really, really good. good. So that's the extent of my knowledge about influence marketing. Yeah, but what Steve is mentioning here is something that I have not seen before. 30 of your favorite handicappers will face off in a four-month contest that you can join in for real money and prizes all season long. I mean, according to what it says on the website, back your favorite, in influ favorite influencer in this contest. If you choose the winning influencer, you win a share of $3,000. I would check that out, sign up. That sounds you can see the results and you see who's up in first place. Get in their following and you can get a share of that uh, that prize pool that they have to pay out. Ladies and gentlemen, time to begin. Game number four, it is a spectacular. Seven, singles match, plays seven points, point double after the first round play. Serving, red shirt post one is Ben, who is not as good a dancer as Robin, who receives in the blue of post two. Here's the serve, we begin. Oh. Point two. Receiving the white shirt at post three, Bueno. Big backhand, Robote coming out. Robote rifle to the inside by Bueno, that's nicely played. Robote saved by Robin. Bueno's got the catch with the reach. Going hard to the inside, Robin's there. Backhand, powerfully thrown to the inside. Catch by Robin. Two all scores, point two. Two on the board, two points. Here's the green shirt at post four, worn by Manuel. That's Manny. He used to be Manuel, but you know. Fault over serve, point four. Black shirt at post five, Carbio receives. Here's a backhand by Carbio, powerfully thrown. That hit the overhead screen, just out of play. Point four. Yellow shirt of post six, Ikeda receives. Manny back to the inside. Kata takes it on the bounce. Here's the backhand. Karam scores. Point four. Four on the board, three points. Here's post seven. The pink shirt receives. Anderluck. Catch by Manny. Manny fakes the carom. Big picata inside. Cut off and a fine catch by Anderluck. Anderluck to the inside. What a catch by Manny. Backhand. Robote left side. Anderluck on the catch. Blowing hard. Manny saves the Robote. Two all. It scores. Point four. 
For four points, here's post eight. Purple shirt receiving is Bragley. Point eight. First round's complete. Matchups are worth two points now through the end of the game. First return right at post one, Ben. There's a backhand by Ben. Robote. Ben on the catch. Two all. Scores, point one. One with two points, here's post three. Bueno. Two all by Bueno. Great run. Fine catch. Oh no, that was juggling. Point three. Blue post two. Robin receives. Robote forehand, Robin steps up. Two all, stopped by Bueno. Bueno's carom will score. Point three. They're on the board with four points, here's post five, Carballo. There's a backhand by Bueno. Scoop by Bueno. Cortada stopped by Carballo. Drop shot by Carballo. Beautifully executed and scoring point five. Here's post six, Ikeda. Catch by Ikeda, forehand to the inside. Carballo, all point six. Post seven receives, the pink shirt, Anderluck. Powerful forehand by Anderluck, caught by Ikeda. Ikeda from the 10 line. Anderluck's there. Backhand by Ikeda. Rote forehand. Ikeda's there. Backhand by Ikeda, powerfully thrown, a little too much. That hits the overhead screen, 0.7. Seven with two points, here's post four, returning with four points. Manny.
Rotate forehand. Manny makes the catch. Scoop attempt miss, point four. Possible game point for the green shirt at post four. Manny trying to stop him. Bragley. Manny digs out this. Rabote keeps the ball in play. Bradley will step up at the five line. Hard throw. Rabote forehand to the outside. Bradley, good catch. Drop shot. Quick release with his back turned. Here's Bradley. Back to the inside. Catch by Manny. Here's the backhand. Caught by Bradley with a mighty reach. Manny on the catch. Manny over the top to the inside. What a scoop by Bragley. Rabote save, uh, touch the overhead screen. So well played, point in game, post four, Manny. Four wins it, three places. One, two, five, six, and seven will play to seven points for third place. One first serves to two. Rotate forehand by Ben. Here's Robin. Backhand by Robin. Rotate forehand. Karam. Ben makes a stop. Two all by Ben is in. Point one. One on the board, four points. Here's post five, Carballo. Backhand by Carballo. Robote coming out. Two all for Ben scores. One, one possible show point for Ben. Trying to stop him. Post six, Ikeda. Kate on the backhand. Ben's there. Powerful backhand by Ben. Kata forehand Robote to pass. Robote left side to the inside. Kata takes it in the air. Backhand from the seven line. Robote missed. Point six. Playoff will continue. Kata with four points, serving to the pink of post seven, worn by Anderluck. Interlock from the forehand, powerfully thrown to the inside. Here's Ikeda. Powerful throw. Rotate left side. Ikeda now from the sixth line. Backhand. Rebote forehand by Anderluck. Ikeda from the nine. Rotate forehand. Light touch. Ikeda gets up there. Caught it before the second bounce. Ikeda looking for the Rebote that's dropping and scores. Point seven. Seven with four points.
Here's Robin. What a scoop by Anderluck. There's the backhand. That's in the overhead screen. Point seven. Possible show point for Possible show point for post seven. Receiving post five, Carbio. Making an equipment chain. Again, we are waiting for Carbio to make an equipment change. And then we will continue in the playoff four show. Served by Anderluck. Here's a backhand by Carbio. Costado to the inside. Scoop by Anderluck. There's the backhand. Robote for Carbio. Robote forehand. Scoop by Carbio. Right side, scoop by Anderluck. There's a backhand on the wall. Karam is in. Show point two, Anderluck. 437, unofficial order finish. Results from game four official coming in first post four, Manny taking second post three, Bueno coming in third post seven, Anderluck, four, three, seven. Shorter finish four, game four. I'll have your prices up in just a moment. Pick three, seven, two, four, two of three numbers, returning 45.20. A $2 wager on the number four to win returns $8.80. Quinella, three, four, 38.60. Trifecta, four, three, seven, 401 even. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, game five, the first of our two doubles games. Played to seven points, points doubling after the first round of play. Part of the doubles championship series here at Magic City. There are no scratches in game five. There are no scratches in today's performance. Post time for game five. Doubles game number one today it is now just about seven minutes away. Good luck.
catch by Ben. Hard by Ben. Scoop by Ikeda. by Ben. Here's the backhand. Rebote forehand by Carballo. Ben looking for the Rebote. He puts that one inside. Carballo will leaping catch. Side. Aaron Deluxe there. Backhand. What a catch by Flores up the wall at the 10 line. Robote forehand. Tough one, and he got it. Backhand by Julian. Into the corner. The forehand Robote. Saved by Nicholas. Here's Julian. Lines up to Costado, two wall. Nicholas, there's that line catch. Fake the two wall, put it inside. Benny makes the catch. There's the backhand. Arat's on the run. Arat saves the rebote. He's up. Benny makes the catch on the forehand. Low and hard to the inside, one-handed grab by Arat. <laughs> hard to the inside, Nicholas is there, backhand. Bote forehand. What a catch by Hyro. an uh, audience that wants to follow you regularly and holding on to them. That's a, that's a tough thing in this day and age. Robote forehand. Hiro makes the catch. Low and hard to the inside. What a catch by Manu. Low and hard to the inside. Backhand by Gosheri. Catch by Arats. Rebote left side, stays on the wall. What a catch by a rock. Left side, Rebote, Nicholas plays it high off the front wall. Douglas runs under it, shoots it back inside. What a scoop by Nicholas. Rebote left side by Douglas. Scoop by Hyro. Hyro back to the inside. Douglas is there. Two by Douglas, red by Hyro, stopped by Hyro. What a catch by Douglas. And folks, the top 10 best catches from last year takes us uh, two minutes from the start of game number five. Some double standings going into today. Boy, Gosheri and Flores, they continue to add to their win total. 10 wins now in this doubles tournament. Douglas and Kubala are a few back now. They sit in second place with six wins. And then Hiro and Tennessee, CRB and Benny tied for third place. They have five. Again, just unbelievable. The winning percentage for Gosheri and Flores north of 40% this year. 
10 wins in about is that 24 games played, not including today. Colin Van Vliet, so many of our people, our, our viewers in the chat will be able to explain it to you, but basically you want to think about racquetball played on three walls or really any type of ball sport. Just they catch the ball and throw it in that wicker basket, which is affixed to their hand. So the ball's always thrown forward and it can touch the floor once after any throw. Uh, you'll have to pick up the rhythm of how it goes. Team one's gonna play team two. The winner stays on the court and plays team three. The winner stays on the court and plays team four. Winner stays on the court and plays team five. They go through that round robin rotation until the first team reaches seven points. That will be the end of the game. We have eight games in this performance. If you like this and tune back in at 5 p.m., you'll be able to see a head-to-head -head format, which is a little bit easier to follow. Just one player playing another player or one team playing another team to six points in three sets, or the best of three sets. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to begin game five. It is a spectacular seven. Doubles match, part of the doubles championship series here at Magic City. Up first, red shirts post one, Douglas and Kabbalah receiving blue post two, Inaki and Bragley. Douglas serves, we begin. One serves to the blue, sh the white shirts of post, two serves, the white shirts of post three. Here's the backhand by Rotz. Point three. Green shirts post four, Barbara and Manu receive. Rots, drop shot. El Barba got there. Oh, he went for the outside placement and caught the pad. Point three. Black shirt supposed five receiving. Kate and Ben. Fitness almost lost that. Ikeda picks it. Drop shot to the inside. Good read by Cool Fitness. There's the backhand. Ikeda calls for the bote. Arats makes the catch. There's the backhand by Arats. Ben on the backhand from the 11 line. Ben on the catch, backhand from the 11. Rats on the catch, almost. That ball is tipped, point five. Post six receives, the yellow shirts. Jen and Manny.
Davis, backhand by Manny. Robote, forehand. Catch by Keita. Point five. Pink shirts, post seven, CRB and Benny received. There's a backhand by Benny. Backhand by Ben. Rotate forehand. Benny's there. Backhand from the 11 line. Here's the backhand by Ikeda. Backhand 2 all caught by CRB. CRB going low and hard. Ikeda makes the stop again, this time at the 8 line. Benny from the left side. You grab, nice backhand. Ben from the forehand over the top. Big bounce, brought down by Benny. Backhand by Benny. Backhand by Ikeda. Robote forehand by Keita. Benny makes the catch. Cortada stopped by Keita. Beautiful catch at the nine line. Here's CRB. Robote forehand caught by CRB. Backhand by Keita. Keita again. Big backhand by Benny. Robote, forehand by Ikeda. Here's Benny on the catch. Backhand from the nine line. Robote, forehand by Ikeda. Benny on the catch. Benny on the right side, Ikeda makes the catch. Benny with a reach, makes the catch. Here's the forehand, straight back. Ben's there, backhand. There's a backhand by Benny. Kate on the catch. Low runner. Stopped by Benny. Kate on the catch. Low and hard, then he's there. Benny now from the forehand. Catch by Ikeda. Ikeda puts it back. Oh, a chick-chack scores. What a point. Point 
five. Purple shirts post eight, and her luck. Jewel and receive. Completed the first round of play. Matchups were two points now through the end of the game. First return, post one. Douglas and Kubala. On the board, two points. Here's post two. Knocking Bradley. Backhand by Kubala. Beautiful catch by Bragley. Big right side. Douglas makes the catch. Backhand. Catch by Nyaki. Backhand by Douglas. Powerfully thrown to the corner. Out to the rebote. Nyaki makes the save. Douglas. Oh, my. Point two. Two on the board, three points. Here's post four. Green shirts receive. El oh, Barba Manu. Manu from the forehand. Ball tipped. Point two. Possible game point for the blue shirts of post two. Inaki and Bragley trying to stop them. The white of post three, Cool Fitness and Arat. Catch by Bragley, big forehand from the 13 line. Arats is there. Robote left side. Arats on the catch, backhand. Robote left side. Inaki on the catch, backhand. One in game, post two, Inaki and Bragley. One serves to three, it's playoff four, third place. Five places, playoff for show rather. One shows. Unofficial order finished, 251. Your prices will be up in a moment.
Winning game five, post two, Inaki and Bragley. Taking second, post five, Ikeda and Ben. Coming in third, post one, Douglas and Gubala. Two, five, one, the official order finish four. Game five. There are your prices, $2 Canada, 25, $44. Trifecta, 251, 176, 80. Jello A drawn two to win, 1380. Up next, game six, spectacular seven. Singles match, play to seven points. Points double after the first round of play. There are no scratches in game six. Game six does begin the late pick three for today. To play pick three, correctly pick the winners of game six, seven, and eight. Post time for game six and late pick three. Seven minutes, good luck. Rotate forehand by Flores. Here's Jairo. Two all by Flores <laughs> will score. Backhand by Ratz, catch by Julen. Big right side by Julen, goes wall to wall. Bote coming out. Two all will score beautifully again for CRB. Up at the eight line of the backhand, Ratz backs up, pulls it in. This one overhead. There's Nicholas Robote forehand. Rots runs under it. Shoots a two wall to score. Here's the backhand by Iñaki. Robote coming out. Two all opens and scores. Backhand by Gosheri, powerfully thrown. Robote comes out to the sixth line, turned on the forehand of Inaki. Gosheri winds up. Costalo, two all opens up wide. Rotate forehand. This one caught by Inaki. Sends it to the inside. Inaki on the catch. Two all. Two score. Nicholas will take it on the bounce at the 10 line. Low and hard to the inside. Gosheri's there. Backhand. Two all. Score. Fine, Julian. Powerfully thrown. Robote kicks out to the 7 line. Benny's on it. Dylan takes it on the bounce at the 10 line. Going hard to the inside. Benny turning a difficult. That had the distance, landed in, and scored for the win. on the wall, kicking up, beautiful catch, nice control, there's the backhand. Outside placement, Douglas, high scoop, two wall, 
off the Rabote scores. Forehand of Douglas, caught by Manu. There's the backhand by Manu, caught by Douglas. Douglas goes deep. In is the call, point seven. Folks, those top 10 two walls take us down two minutes from the start of game number six. Two minutes until game number six here. Inaki Bradley adding a win in doubles. They're fourth, again, slowly but surely moving up the leaderboard. Just two wins outside of the top two. If you finish in second in doubles, first and second place will take home a bonus prize. Game six starting up here. Feature singles games, best singles players coming out, competing in games six and eight. With that, game six, let's begin. Time to begin game six, spectacular seven scoring. Serving, redshirt of post one, Nicholas receiving in the blue of post two, Inaki. Mr. Sir, we begin. Rebote forehand to the outside. Not outside enough. Nicholas stops it. There's the carom. That will score point one. Receiving the white shirt of post three. Manu. Point three. Receiving the green shirt of post four, here's a Douglas. Ball cut back and scores, point four. 
Black shirt at post five. Here's Hyro. Scoop by Douglas. Here's the backhand. Ball tipped. Point five. Yellow shirt to post six. The Rots receive. Point five. Benny receives. Pink a post seven. Side placement scores from the forehand of Hiro. Got him. Point five. Five with three points. Here's post eight. To complete the first round of play, we have number 20, Gosheri. Forehand to the inside. Goshetti's there. Backhand. Rebote forehand. Thrown hard to pass. Hiro turns. He makes the rebote. Light to the inside. Here's Goshetti winding up. To the inside he goes. Hiro's there. Hiro. Split court. Oh, what a catch by Go Sherry. And the soft backhand scores. Point eight. We've completed the first round of play. Matchups are worth two points now through the end of the game. First to return, Inaki. Here's the backhand by Goshetti. Robote at the side wall, well played by Nyaki. Goshetti's there. At Robote is hooked, point eight. Eight with three points, here's post one, Nicholas. Here's a backhand by Nicholas. Gusheri's there. Backhand. Nicholas on the catch. Gusheri on the bounce. Nicholas from the 10 line. Backhand to the inside. Two all played two score. Point eight. Sherry's gone straight points to a possible game point, trying to stop him. White of post three, Manu.
Here's the backhand by Manu. Robote laid up, played by Gochere. Manu on the catch, backhand. Sherry, backhand from the 11 line. Beautiful catch by Manu. Backhand from the 10 line. That touched the overhead screen, which is out of play. Point and game. A perfect game for post eight, Gochere. Eight wins it, five places, four, one, and three. Playoff for third place, four first serves to one. Powerful forehand by Douglas passes. Nicholas for their bote. On hard of the inside, Douglas is there. Backhand. Pilo from the wall scores. Point one. Along with three points, here's post three. Manu. Robote left side. Back by, by Manu. Manu on the catch. Scoop by Nicholas. Ooh, that was pretty. One shows. Unofficial order of finish, 851. Your price will be up in a moment. Winning game six, post eight, Gosheri. He had a perfect game, taking second, post five, Hiro. Coming in third, post one, Nicholas. Eight, five, one, the official order of finish. Four, game number six. There are your prices. Teller Kinella, five, eight, 32, 80. Trifect, eight, five, one, 119, even. Teller Wager on eight to win, 620. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, is game number seven. Second of our two doubles matches. Played to seven points. Points double after the first round of play. No scratches in game seven. Game seven will conclude the high five for today. Post time for game seven. Seven minutes. Good luck. I have been told by a reliable source that we're about to see a screen that says there are two tickets alive in the high five. What's going on? What's in the Again. water? Mm. Who is it? The one in the eight. Wow. So one goes Sherry and Flores. All right. In the eight, Hiro in Tennessee. All right. Wow. Did it go yesterday? It, it did. So that would be, is it four out of five days? If that were to hit again? It's at least three out of four. I think it's, it might be four out of five. No, 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 no it's going to happen if this thing gets hit today. Tomorrow night, you're going to be announcing like this. It's pay, uh, it's pay week this week. So. Uh, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. We are unable to offer the high five. It's uh, broken. Uh, Totes, <laughs> the machine's broken. It, I won't the accept high it. The high five machine will not be accepting wagers. It's, it's broken. We're not sure when it's going to be fixed, but we are, we're fairly confident it will be sometime in 2027. You must work for my building, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's the same yeah. answer I got when I asked that the steam room was going to be back in this millennium, and they said no. Really? No, they, 
They said they'd give me a call back. I'm still waiting. That was three days ago. Ah, uh, see, I'm going to give you something. You know, there, I'm, there I'm you going to give you a different way of saying that that makes it funnier. It reminds me of my grandmother, so it's like a win-win. Ready? Yeah. So I called them, and I told them the steam room was broken. They told me they'd get back to me. Pregnant pause. Have you heard from them? <laughs> <laughs> she used to deliver that line. Perfectly. My grandma had, yeah, she had one too. It's, it's coming. So it was Christmas, you know. It's like, yeah, <laughs> or any holiday religion you may, you know, may choose. You what? throw it in there. It, Purim is another one for our Jewish. <laughs> yes, yes. Purim's coming as well. Yes, for those who, for those who, for those <laughs> yeah. who celebrate. Well, my my sixth sense tells me that you grew up in a household with no shortage of sarcasm. Oh no. I said they don't think I understood it until. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Until you were how yeah. old? Yeah, twenty. Ta yeah, like ten to fifteen, maybe. Yeah. No, I think I'll tell you something. I picked up on sarcasm very, very early. Well, it really started here too, and when I go and I hang out with people from that have like real jobs, they you know, work in like offices, and they interact with people on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> Wait a second. Scott's driving home. <laughs> I mean, you know he's listening. And you just said real job. Well, so this, is the best, this is the because best possible. There's, there's no. a text that's about to come saying you just got a saying, real paycheck, didn't you? <laughs> well, it is. I'm just saying. <laughs> for what we do, we're not, it's not rocket science here. We're we pick breaking, up a mic, we I'm talk about high say, lie, we're so We're not breaking rocks with that, a sledgehammer. It's very Absolutely. real, but it's I'm a, just. It's a blessing to be able to do this for a living. But it's not like it accounting, or I'm not like selling insurance or something where I'm wow, actually like trying to. a quiet to, evening in your house. Yeah, so right. pissed. <laughs> What's wrong with accounting? I'm, I'm complimenting it, as a matter of fact. I'm saying, you know, I could never do that. But. <laughs> yes. People told me, they were like, dude, you, you don't, you're never serious. Because we joke around a lot back here. Have and to. it's very sarcastic. Yeah, it's very sarcastic yeah, back here. Yeah, the, the, the general. 2019, 2020. The general. Answer. That's always been, though. That's always been so. Like one thing that Highline was famous for doing is attracting on the business side, not on the playing side, but for instance, mutual clerks, uh, some in food and beverage as well. But I think definitely with the mute, definitely on the mutual side of things, plant super. Uh, one of my favorites, someone a legend in this in the paramutual business, Phil Skip. May he rest in peace. Phil Skip was brilliant. He was absolutely brilliant, and had a rather could have a, a rather abrasive and sometimes difficult personality, but tremendous sense of humor. I remember he was he was a mutual manager. One of the things the mutual managers do at Highlight Frontons back when there were a lot of people in line was you watch the lines. There are cameras. There are cameras on every betting line. Yeah, and you, everyone. having done this myself, you sit, you sit, and you set a post time, but you can hold post. And so if you're if you're having a good night or a good afternoon. And there's many people in line. You hold post. Right. And you make sure you get those yeah. bets, and you don't want to be shut out. Every now and then, like a regular customer would get shut out. So Ooh. this guy came, and he was pissed. And he was like, "I need to talk to." So I was this manager on duty. I was assistant general manager. Okay. Yeah. I was listening to him in the lobby. And just, I mean, this guy wasn't. He wasn't stopping either. I mean, he was like really going. And then uh, Phil just happened to be coming down <laughs> the elevator. The elevator opens, and I said. Well, here's our mutual manager right now. I said, Phil, uh, gentleman says that he was shut out. Phil looks at me, looks at him, goes, didn't happen. Kept walking. The That's height great. of customer service at Paramutual. No. Didn't happen. Kept walking. Um, what did he say but, to that? But Phil Nothing. taught, but Phil taught me something very valuable. I said, you know, I was talking about an assistant mutual manager, an assistant general manager, and some guys with master's degrees and just what were we doing in Highline at that time? Yeah. And he said, very simple. There's something about this business, Highline specifically, that attracts intelligent underachievers. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wow. Well, yeah, okay, well, I definitely fit that bill. And then I looked at the other assistant general manager, and he was like, yep, yeah, that's me. Makes sense. And Phil, Phil was there, and then we kept on going down the line. And it was these buildings were filled with very competent, very intelligent underachievers. 
It's like you've heard me like on a yeah, bad day. I, feel- I have referred to this as like having a bad heroin addiction. There's something so beautiful about the sport and the environment and and the ball and the players. And there's something so awesome to that. But And Highlight says, I think there's some truth in that, Stu. Highlight, one day we have to describe your background because I don't don't know your background. But, I mean, this this was discussed 20 years ago, 10 years ago. I think there's some truth today, Stu. Still? I uh, perhaps. Well, you don't consider yourself an underachiever, do you? Hmm. No, Stu. Not at all. Game seven. Let's play some highlight. Who me? Ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to begin <laughs> game number seven. It is spectacular. Seven doubles match, play to seven points. Points double after the first round of play. Up first and serving, red shirts, uh, post one, go Sherry and Flores. Receiving in the blue of post two, Anderluck and Julen. And then another voice chimes in and says, well, we have a 30. We hope not to have a 30-30 about this. 30 on 30. No, no, we need this to succeed. Let the success speak for itself. We begin point one. White shirts post three, Jed and Ann Manny. Jaden picks his serve. Oh, the backhand hit the pad. And the pad is bad. Point one. On the board with two points. Here's post four. The green shirts receive Bueno and Robin. Is out. Point four. Receiving the black shirts, uh, post five, CRB and Benny. There's a backhand. Robin on the backhand. Robote left side. Here's Robin from the 10 line. Split placement stopped on the tip of Benny Sessas. Benny's carom is stopped by Bueno in a beautiful catch. Good catch by Benny. Here's the backhand. Robin's there. Backhand. CRB catches it in the air. Low and hard. Robin's there. Backhand. Benny from the 13 line. Drop shot. Hit the pad. Point five. Now receiving in the yellow shirts, uh, post six. In the front court, we have Ikeda. In the back court, uh, number 45. Did Juanito play under 45 in Miami? (laughs) 
I think he Kate's father played under 45. Because I think last year, Iriondo wore 45, and he Kata mentioned that he and Iriondo, when they were doubles team, it was him and his father's, his father's number. number. Yeah, right. so I think, I think that is true, but perhaps you can I confirm. I sense a little creative announcing coming up. Here's a catch by Benny, backhand. Kata makes the catch, backhand. Robote. Kata's in the front court. Powerful forehand, Benny's there. Juanito on the catch, here's the backhand. Picada stopped by Benny. Backhand by Ben. Benny on the backhand to the inside. Ben's there. Backhand. Point six. Receiving in the pink shirts of post seven, Juice and Nicholas. Nicholas advances, makes a good catch. Point seven. Here now to complete the first round and receive. Purple shirts, uh, post eight, Hyro and Tennessee. Here's a backhand caught by Nicholas. Nicholas from the forehand. Rotate forehand saved by Hiro. There's a catch by Nicholas. Robote coming out. Robote forehand by Hiro. Vote forehand, laid up. Juice takes on the left side. There's the backhand. Hard throw. Hiro calls for it, puts it inside. Nicholas advances. Backhand from the sixth line. Scoop by Nicholas. Backhand. Rote forehand by Nicholas, catch by Hiro. There's a backhand by Nicholas. Tennessee on the catch. Backhand from the 11 line. Nicholas is there. What a catch by Tennessee. Rote left side to the inside. Here's Nicholas. Backhand. Back out away from him. Hit the overhead screen. Point seven. Seven with two points. Here's post two. Andrew Luck and Julian.
Nicholas from the Costado powerfully to the inside. Backhand to all. Nicholas is there. Point seven. Four points for the seven post. Receiving post three, Judden and Manny. Big backhand by Manny. We're both taking it out to the six line. Turned by Nicholas, caught by Manny. Here's the backhand. Catch by Nicholas. Powerful forehand. Rote save, falls short, point seven. Possible game point for the pink shirts of post seven. Juice and Nicholas trying to stop them, Argo, Sherry, and Flores. Sherry picks the serve, splitter, scores, point one. Along with four points, here's post four, Bueno and Robin. Robote, this one caught by Bueno. Two all by Bueno, lands in and scores. That's well played, point four. Four three points, here's post five, CRB and Benny. Here's a backhand by Benny. Rivote, forehand. Big backhand by Benny. Robin's there. Ball tipped in the backcourt. That doesn't hurt. Hmm. Point five. Five with three points, here's post six. Ikeda and Iriondo. Robote forehand by CRB. Benny on the catch. There's the forehand return. Backhand by CRB, bends there. Sure. Rotate forehand by Ikeda, takes off and hits the overhead screen, point five. Possible game point for the five team Trying to stop them, the purple of post eight, Hyro and Tennessee. Tennessee on the catch.
Bote left side to the inside. Benny's there. Backhand. Robote forehand, low and inside. Benny's there. Backhand. Powerfully thrown. Tennessee makes the catch. Benny calls for it, moves up to make the catch. Powerful forehand. Hiro calls for it. Robote saved to the inside. Here's Benny. Backhand. What a catch. Oh. Wow. Ooh. Robote forehand by Hiro. Here's Benny. Benny on the catch. Takes it on the bounce. Forehand. Benny will take it on the bounce again. Powerful forehand up the middle. Hiro calls for it. It's going to the inside. Hiro makes the save. Benny moves up to take it in the air down low. Low hard throw. Here's Tennessee. Backhand. Benny switches to the Robote, makes the save. Here's Hiro on the bounce. Robote save again by Benny. Hiro takes on the bounce again. Beautiful catch by Hiro at the nine line. Benny, backhand from the 12. Ball's on the wall and Hiro makes a save. Backhand by Benny. Tennessee with the big backhand. Robote left side, saved by CRB. Here's Hiro. Benny on the catch. Hiro back at the 10 line. Bote Correo on the forehand. Bote is saved by Hiro. Here's Benny. Catch by Benny. Powerful forehand. Hiro calls for it. Robote is saved. The inside. And he's there. Up at the six line. Low and hard. Tennessee with a beautiful catch at the 11 line. Robote saved by Benny. Catch by Hiro. Hiro hard from the forehand. Benny digging out a difficult Robote save. Big bounce all the way to the nine line. Backhand by Benny. Rotate forehand. Big backhand by Benny. Tenny sees there again. Robote, forehand by Hiro. Catch by Benny. Low and hard. Hiro, beautiful catch at the nine line. Such a well played point by all four players. Point eight. Eight with two points. Here's post two. Andrew Luck and Julian. Ball over, sir. Point two. Two on the board with two points. Here's post three. Jedden and Manny.
There's a backhand by Manning. Catch by Julian. Point three. Possible game point four. Pink shirts opposed seven. Juice and Nicholas trying to stop them. Jedden and Manning. Backhand by Nicholas, powerfully thrown. Robote coming out. Jedden for the Robote. Robote left side. Here's Nicholas. Beautiful catch by Manny off the side wall. Nicholas on the scoop. Backhand from the nine line. Powerfully thrown. Robote coming out. Manny on the catch. Forehand from the 12 line. Here's the backhand. Nicholas makes the catch midcourt. Powerful throw, low and hard. Tipped in the backcourt, pointing game, post seven. Juice and Nicholas. Five places, one shows, unofficial order finish, 751. Your price will be up in a moment. Results from game seven are official as posted. Coming in first, post seven. Juice and Nicholas taking second, post five. CRB and Benny coming in third, post one. Go Sherry and Flores. There you process. There your price is seven five one two dollar Kinella five seven seventy six sixty. Trifecta 751-82960. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, is game number eight. A spectacular seven singles match. Played two, seven points. Points will double after the first round of play. No scratches in game eight, and post time is now just seven minutes away. Good luck. Me a hustle city man. Everybody got more than one gig. It's one stop, boy, $20. I'm not your neighborhood Uber driver. I do luxury. And then I have another job. I play high line. I have this crazy idea. Do you think we could send something out to all the ex-athletes for the last 20 years and say, we're looking to hire and train highlight players? When I first got the email, I thought it was pranking me. I need some clarity on this. I went on YouTube and I Google highlight. I was like, ja -la. <laughs> they paying us, man, and we can win big money. Let me see what this is all about. That's what you gotta do, get some money. The players taking the court are all athletes you may recognize. Baseball, football, track and field having to work, play Division One sport, and then I had a child on the way, so I dropped out. The crack era was tough. Sports in general was a way out of our environment. It's really game time now, man. Blood, sweat, and tears. We got the streets on fire. This is going to be the first time that my kids will be able to sit in an audience and root for their father. Who wants it more? This is a sacrifice I think is gonna pay off in the end. This is a dream for me. I gotta win. Can't get drama better than this. I like became the new hustle. Let's get ready to play. Ah! And folks, that was a trailer for the award-winning documentary about the inaugural season of play right here at Magic City. That is called Magic City Hustle. Directed by Billy Corbin, creator of Cocaine Cowboys, Screwball, The U, and much more. This film highlights the transition of these Magic City athletes from their spectral careers in other sports. Right here to the High Life front on. You can watch Magic City Hustle directly from Google Play or iTunes. It is as simple as that. Either rent or buy from either platform. If you buy it for just a few dollars more, you get to enjoy it as many times as you like for life.
Five minutes to go, Andrew. Game eight. Did we get a, oh, huh? did we get a price there on the high five? I don't think it was hit, was it? It was definitely not hit. Uh-oh. So the high five is. I just went, I went back to. It does, it does have a future. Hmm. Alex Dixon, as long as you join the conversation, we're happy to have you. Not gonna. Wager. I gotta check this out, Stu. Gotta head over to watch a wager and see what's going on. Wow, considering they get the information from us, I'm shocked. Yeah. Steve M. I know it's two. four, but what did he? Four or five, paid 151.20. Yeah, I know these things. That was, that was quick, Stu. <laughs> I'm going to write it in because I trust Steve. But I will double check. Obviously. 150-120. We're going to go to watch and wager. Eighth and final game just a few minutes away. Don't forget we have Battle Court at 5 p.m. Today, the Cyclones will take on the Devils. Devils minus Olheron. Currently fulfilling an obligation in France where he's competing in the All-Star Tournament. Look at that. Never a doubt, Steve. 150-120. Yes, I'll get you that battle court lineup. I have it right here. Lopez you wanna, and Flores you wanna start going it off, up Stu? against yeah. Jairo and Rock. And a singles match featuring Manu going up against Urbieta, who is a new father as of yesterday. Congratulations ha to Urbieta and his Congratulations. wife. Congratulations. The birth of their child. Carballo and Flores will then take on CRB and Robin. Then a singles match featuring Lopez going up against Jairo. Singles, Ikeda Bueno against Robin and Rock. Then Carballo, Manu against Jairo Urbieta to finish things off. That is Battle Court. That will begin at 5 p.m. just one hour from right now. I mean, really the last chance for the Cyclones. They got to do something today and make their move up the leaderboard if they want to play into May in the later parts of May. Looks like 12 points separating the Cyclones and Devils in the standings. But they still play each other two times this year. It'll be hard to make up all that ground in just two game days. But without Olheron, definitely a, a little bit of an advantage for the Cyclones coming into today. Starting to figure out the court. He's been playing great. And he will be back here for the late April and then into the playoffs. That's Olheron of the Devils. If they make it there, again, really the only other team that could knock them out of fourth place would be the Cyclones. Those two teams playing tonight. And then also on the 19th, that will be the third and final meeting between these two teams, Cyclones and Devils, beginning 5 p.m. Eastern today. One minute to go before we begin game eight. Again, the last game in our Pelotes performance. Don't forget, we're back tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. Followed by Battle Court at 5 p.m. Oh, crank me too. Old rounds always fun to play, always fun to watch.
Ladies and gentlemen, time to begin our eighth and final game of the Pelota performance. It is a spectacular seven. Singles match, play to seven points. Points will double after the first round of play. Up first and serving, the red shirt of post one, Manu. Receiving in the blue of post two, Inaki. Here's the serve, we begin. Backhand by Manu, Inaki's there. Backhand from the 10 line, backhand two all by Inaki. That's the first one I think I've ever seen him throw. It worked. That's the first one I think Manu saw him throw. Point two. Germina. Nicholas receives, wide of post three. Here's backhand by Nicholas. Inaki's there. Backhand from the 10 line. Another one. Nicholas was ready for this one. Stopped it. Catch by Inaki. Backhand from the 6 line. That lands out. Out. Point three. Here he is serving in the green shirt to post four, warm by Goshetti. Beautiful catch by Goshetti. Here's the backhand. Robote left side by Nicholas to the inside. Goshetti's there. Backhand. Sherry on the catch, two all, in. Point four. Black shirt opposed five, or Arats receives. Here's the backhand by Rots. Robote left side by Goshetti. Scoop by Rots. Costello to all the light touch, red by Goshetti. Sherry hard to the inside. Arats is there. Backhand. Ball tipped by Rots. Point four. Four two points. Here's post six. Hiro. Catch by Gosheri. Here's the backhand. Two all. Stop by Gosheri. Point four. On the board, three points. Here's post seven, Benny. Robote. Benny advances, takes it in the air, fakes the carom, puts it inside. Gochetti's there, backhand. Two all, red by Benny, but he couldn't get there. Point four. Four points for the four post. Here now to complete the first round and receive. Wearing the purple shirt at post eight, 
Douglas. Here's a backhand by Douglas, powerfully thrown to the inside. Goshetti, backhand. Douglas is there, backhand from the nine line. Bote back to the inside. Gosheri makes the catch, backhand. Douglas, two all. Gosheri reads it, stops it, turns it hard. Douglas was going for that, just overran at point four. Possible game point for the green shirt at post four, Gosheri. We've completed the first round of play. Matchups are worth two points now through the end of the game. First to return, the red at post one, Manu. There's a backhand by Manu, Robote coming out. Rote left side by Manu, big bounce, stopped by Gosheri. Sherry splitter, will score for the win. Point in a perfect game, post four, Gosheri. Two serves to three, playoff four, second and third place. Here's the backhand by Nicholas. Robote coming out. Nicholas on the catch. Costalo inside. Scoop attempt missed. Three places, two shows. Unofficial order finish, 432. Your prices will be up in a moment. Winning game eight, post four, Gosheri taking second, post three. Nicholas coming in third, post two, Inaki. Four, three, two, the official order finished for our eighth game. There are your prices. $2 on four to win, $7.60. $2 Kinella, three, four, 2360. Trifecta, four, three, two, 7460. Pick three, eight, seven, four, three of three numbers returning 168, 40, four of eight. The Mighty Ocho returning 130. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will do it for this Monday afternoon performance of Live Highlight in the Magic City on the Highlight Channel. We are glad that you chose to join us today and invite you to join us at 5 p.m., just less than an hour from now for Battle Court. Cyclones taking on the Devils. Don't forget, we're back tomorrow, 1.30 p.m. post time for eight more Pelota games with Battle Court again at 5 p.m. On behalf of the players, staff, and management of Magic City Highline, we do appreciate you joining us today and hope to see you for Battle Court at 5. Have a good day.